What's up guys, Eli here, most noise of FIFA Tricks, and as you guys can see on the screen today, I'm bringing you guys FIFA 17 title update 2 patch notes. I'm just going to give you guys the notes that they be pretty much put out. Of course, this pat, this title update is actually already out for PC, but for Xbox and, and PS4 players, we're going to get this in the next coming weeks. So we're going to jump on into the EA Forums website and just check this out. So as you guys can see, Rob, who's the community manager, he pretty much posts um, community related stuff for pro clubs and stuff like that and pro clubs he does pretty much everything with FIFA that is due also I just want to notice you guys can see the date this was pretty much put out two days ago and uh, pretty much he's just gonna explain some of the stuff but mainly we're gonna focus on the pro club stuff and then we'll jump on the extra stuff so pro club wise what did they change what did they add and stuff like that so the first thing they changed is the trait the flare trait is now available for all pros now as you guys know you guys asked me plenty of times my players can't my player can't my pro can't do the uh, can't do fancy pass can't do like no um, uh, back heel and stuff like that why can't I do it but the CPU can what's the issue with that and most of the most of the time I answered with it's uh, it's a glitch in the game it's probably something that EA has to fix and that is exactly what they do on this second uh, title update for FIFA 17 so that will be fixed for you guys so you guys will be able to do all the fancy passes you guys want in the game now the next thing they fixed is carrying over your Vitro Pro from FIFA 16 now currently unlocks all passive mates so uh, passive traits now if you played this means if you played FIFA 16 and you pretty much unlocked all the traits, the passive traits. Now, I'm going to tell you guys what the passive traits in our second are. But if you did play FIFA 16, you will be able to use those traits you had on FIFA 16 now on FIFA 17. Now, this was one of the videos I made on how to unlock all the traits that, how you can get all the traits that are not in FIFA 17. Um, I did that. I showed you guys how to do it. You had to go and, uh, and do a bunch of stuff to do it. But now... Um, they actually made it so you will be able to get it because some of that, that that video I made some of them actually didn't work I could probably clearance did but some of them didn't so what are passive traits you guys are might be asking I'm gonna show you guys a video uh, a quick website real quick that pretty much will tell you guys what passive traits are pretty much this is what pla passive traits are you guys can see long throw in second wind some of them you actually are in FIFA 17 but I think they're gonna put the other ones like uh, um, outside the foot shot is one of them that's not in there um, power free kick or driven free kick is the same thing. Starter penalty is one of them. Skill dribbling is not even in there. So I think that's going to be in there. Fancy pass, fancy flicks, bicycle kick, diving header. So I think all of these, these are pretty much passive traits. So if you do, if you did end up playing FIFA 16 and you had them unlocked, I know you could use five on FIFA 16. So hopefully you'll be, I think they're going to be, you're going to be able to get those five that you had on FIFA 16. Now, we'll see what they do with it, if you're going to be able to, if you're going to have to buy them or not. I think they're just going to give it to you because they're saying it carried over. Now, if you don't play, if you didn't play FIFA 16, I don't know how this will work for you. So, because I think it's just carrying over straight from FIFA 16. It's not going to be available for you to buy or pr get in FIFA 17 because those were mainly due to accomplishment. You had to do accomplishment to get them. So, that's pretty much where those came from. So, passive traits, those are fixed. So, now you'll be able to actually do all the stuff that you need. Acrobatic clearance, driven, uh, driven free kick, outside the foot shot, all of those will be in the game for us to use another issue they fix is an issue where players could receive excessive skill point now this one is where um, the last glitch I put out that you can get unlimited skill points instead of having for 24 you could have 48 which will double your skill points so if you had six you if you did this glitch you'll be able to to get 12 and you can have more skill points so EA ended up fixing this and that video that I put out was actually for EA and actually posted in the forums for them and they fixed it so now we know we won't see people abusing this as it will be helpful for players that play competitive FIFA so they don't get banned in, in leagues and stuff like that. Because a lot of leagues, if they see you with this, they will they will tell you you can't play the games. If they do catch you playing, then they might ban you out of the league. So make sure you keep that in mind if you play pro clubs competitive. After the after this update is out next week for PS4 and Xbox, we will be all set and should you shouldn't have any issues with the with excessive skill points. And I don't think there's no need to do the glitch again, even if uh, after they put the passive traits out because then you'll get plenty of traits that you don't even really need the other ones now Let's go jump in into the other stuff. That's pretty much all concluded for pro clubs three main big changes the flare traits fixed That's a big one um, You'll be able to carry all your passive traits from FIFA 16 again FIFA uh, passive traits are your driven uh, driven free kick um uh, long throw in and stuff like that. These are the passive traits right here power free kick, shutter penalty, skill dribble, fancy pass, fancy flicks, bicycle kick, driven header. 
all of those ones will be in FIFA 17 if you play FIFA 16. It will carry over. So I'm, so that will be helpful for us. And that, another issue they fix again is the excessive skill points. That's pretty much it for Pro Clubs. Let's jump in into the uh, other area they changed. So visual and presentation changes. They just changed some little adjustment with some of the stuff. They uh, made the face so the player will actually look more realistic. They addressed some issue where kits would actually not be the same. So like if you select home... It might give you a white kit because of EA will just change it automatically. And black custom kits no longer clash with referee. I think this is mainly for Ultimate Team and Pro Clubs. Uh, even though it's not saying in the Pro Club section. Because sometimes if you are, have a custom black kit and the ref sometimes will have a, a black kit on and it will clash. And the journey, they just changed some issues with the language. Uh, so you'll be able to have different languages for other uh, players in around the world to enjoy the game. For Ultimate Team, they just changed some stability issues in online game modes and that is pretty much it in general in conclusion the biggest changes will be coming to pro clubs again the flare trait will be able to use you'll be able to get the passive traits from fifa 16 if you played fifa 16 so keep that in mind and also no more excessive skill points and i don't think we really need them anymore that's pretty much it guys for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you guys did enjoy this video and have any question whatsoever let me know in the comment section below now so don't forget to be giving me a big thumbs up it will be a big help Thank you guys so much for watching again, guys, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.